Okay, welcome back. My name is Paul Fritz, and today we're going to look at downloading and installing Unreal Engine from Epic Games. So, to get there, what you're going to do is first you're going to come here to unrealengine.com, and that'll bring you to this landing page right here. You can scroll around, look at this um, page, gives a little bit more information about Unreal Engine. But if you're ready to go ahead and install it, right up here in the right hand corner, we have a sign in. So if you already have an Epic Games um, account, you can sign in right there. Or you can just go ahead and click right here on download and it'll take you to this page, license options, publishing license or creator license. So we're gonna use this as a creator license. If you're doing it, uh, publishing license, you're probably not watching this video right now because you're already um, making money off of this type of stuff. But um, if you're like me and a lot of people uh, just using Unreal Engine for other projects, then Creator license is what you want. It's 100% free to use, royalty free. Just go ahead and select select that. It'll come here and you'll either need to sign in, so log in, or you'll need to sign up if you don't have an Epic Games account. If you do have an Epic Game account, just click on log in and put that in and that'll take you to the download page. If you need to uh, sign up, you would click here and you'll follow through the couple questionnaires, get your account set up, log in and then it'll take you to the download page. So I'm going to click on login right now. I'm going to pause for a second so I can put in my information. Okay, welcome back. So now what's happening is it took me to the download page, just like um, I told you it would. And here we have a choice that's going to download, download it now. You can run it and you can also save it. I'm going to go ahead and click on download now. Click on save, it should start downloading. And yes it is. And it's gonna go into my downloads folder here. And once it's done downloading, you'll double click on this. Um, if you have other browsers that you're using, such as um, Mozilla, you can come up here, there will be a little down, a blue arrow for a download, click on that, and it'll take you to that folder as well. And then once that's done downloading, I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. Okay, then it'll come up. It'll ask you where you want to save it. You're going to go ahead and pick a folder that you want to put it in if it's not to, to the default. I have it on my D drive in a folder I call Unreal, and it's going to put it in there as Epic Games. Since I already have this installed, I'm not going to follow through that process. I'm just going to cancel this out. But you'll click on install. You'll follow the prompts. And I'm going to hit cancel. Yes. Okay. And close out this down here. So now what's going to happen is once you have all of that installed, it should have an icon on your desktop somewhere. Um, or you can go to your programs and find your Epic Game Launcher. Click on that. And when you do, that'll bring up this window right here. And this is basically, if you're already playing games, um, you already have some stuff uh, downloaded, you'll probably be familiar with this. But right down here, if you've never noticed it or have never used it, there's one called Unreal Engine. You can click on that and that will bring you to um, the marketplace. There's a bunch of stuff about Unreal Engine in here. And what I want to do is here, from here, I'm going to go to the library. Okay, and in the library, right at the top, engine versions. I have several versions of this installed on my computer. You know, you can go in, you can uninstall them. You can also click on the little X to get rid of these tiles, but you may not have anything if this is your first time using it. So the way to add a tile is you come up here to the little plus sign next to engine versions, click on the plus, and then a version will come up. If it's not the version you want, you can hit the down arrow here and select one of the older versions or other versions that are out there. Right now it looks like 4.25 Preview 4 is out. And um, you can go ahead and select one of these and then you click Install. Okay, um, if you decide you don't want that version on there, you would uh, go ahead and X out of that. Now clicking Install, what's gonna happen is it'll start to fill this little symbol here, kind of like it's filling up. It takes quite a while to install Unreal Engine and I'm not gonna sit here and go through that. I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. But basically, once you have that, then you can click on any one of these tiles and launch it. 
and it'll, you can also launch it from up here. You can click your down arrow here and select the different versions if you have more than one version. And it usually takes a few minutes to uh, bring up. Okay, and while we're waiting for that, we can talk a little bit about this, this screen here. Again, if you're familiar with it, you know, home, there's a store for the Unreal Engine, the marketplace, and inside the marketplace, um, you can find different assets, different um, scenes that may have already been put together, and there it goes, it's popping out. So now the Unreal Editor is coming up, and once that's open, um, you'll be able to start going. This is not a tutorial about um, using Unreal Editor, so I'm not going to go ahead and go into that, and I'm not going to go really into the marketplace either. There are tutorials out for that, and I will be creating some more tutorials over the next few weeks uh, for my class to teach them um, about using Unreal Editor. So um, you can pop back in and check those out as they get published. Anyway, thank you for your time, and I hope this helps. Have a great day.